And when I get so used to relying upon my native intelligence, or let's just call it your opinions, you know, your thinking, because you know how to navigate life, and I'm a logical person, and I don't, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you understand that the abundance of your thoughts are as dangerous to you as the abundance of money or strength? Because they will take you to the same place of self-reliance and you cease to be open to the revelation that comes to us from God. I don't know if you know that. Many of you have heard this prayer. It's a, it's a great one. Uh, you know, Come to me, all who are weary and heavy laden. Take your yoke upon you. This is Jesus speaking now, saying, Come and learn of me, for I'm gentle and humble of heart. And we're like, oh, Yes. Oh. It's interesting to me. Almost nobody ever talks about the first part of the prayer. You want to know what that is? It's Jesus saying, Lord, I love this. I am so glad that you've taken all these things of the kingdom and hidden them from really smart people. That's why he says, come to me and learn from me. Because I've got to let go of this yoke that's on me, the yoke of my own resource, my own smarts, my own ability. I've got to let go of that thing because I promise you this, that is always going to tug you this direction when the Spirit of God and Revelation wants to tug you the other way. And the only way to redeem these great strengths of a lot of money, a lot of, a lot of uh, you know, oomph, and a lot of uh, smarts, is to somehow surrender them to God and find a way to sacrifice them by doing it for the sake of other people. That's the problem with your thinking. It's so much about you. That's the problem with your money. It's so much about securing yourself. And every ducat that you take and use it to secure or bless or to give or to advantage somebody else, that becomes a redeemed dollar. And instead of being dangerous to you, it's wonderfully helpful. But the same is true of your strength or of your smarts. The Bible even says to us that God in His wisdom made it impossible for man to come to know God in man's own wisdom. 